All right, let's dive into how you can use Monday.com for inventory management. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. It's going to be super simple, and by the end of this, you'll have a good handle on it. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to do is log into Monday.com. It's super easy to get into, just click on the plus sign that you see in your workspace area. That's where you'll start the process of creating your inventory management system. Right under your main workspace, there's an option for templates. You'll want to look for the inventory management template. Just search for it in the template search bar, and once it pops up, click use template. This template is really easy to work with. The whole point is to keep things simple and organized so you can focus more on managing your inventory instead of spending all your time figuring out the system. Once you're inside the template, you'll see how everything is laid out. It's got groups already set up for different categories of products. For instance, you might see groups for things like computers or TVs. If you want to add a new group, it's as easy as clicking add group and you can call it whatever you want. So if you need a group for clothing, you can name it that. And just like that, you've got a new group ready for items related to clothing. It's all about making your workspace flexible, so it fits the needs of your inventory. You can organize products however you see fit, and it gives you a lot of freedom to adjust things as your inventory changes. Next, you'll want to start adding your products to the system. Let's say you're adding a new item, like a Samsung refrigerator. To do this, simply click on the option to add a new product, and then start inputting the details. For instance, you'll enter the manufacturer name, in this case, Samsung, and you can also create custom labels to better categorize the product. Labels are like extra tags that help you sort your inventory in a way that's meaningful to you, whether it's by type, department, or any other categorization system you prefer. Once that's done, the next step is to add the quantity you currently have in stock. If you have, say, 50 of these Samsung refrigerators, just input that number. This ensures the system knows how many units you have on hand making stock management much easier. Another important field to fill out is the reorder level. This is a threshold number that helps you keep track of when it's time to restock. For example, if you set the reorder level at 30, the system will alert you when your stock dips below that number. It's a helpful way to avoid running out of popular products unexpectedly. Additionally, you can include other important information such as pricing, product descriptions, and images of the items. The more details you provide, the easier it will be to track and manage your inventory as it grows. This way, you can keep everything organized and ensure you're always prepared for customer demand. This is where things get really handy. You can add a stock check date to track when you last reviewed your inventory. For instance, let's say you performed a stock check on September 12th, just input that date into the system. By doing this, you create a clear history of when your inventory was last updated, which can be super helpful for future reference, especially if you need to audit your stock or keep things organized over time. Then, you'll enter the unit price for each product. For example, if a microwave costs $350, you'll add that figure into the price field. Once you've done that, the platform will automatically calculate the total value of your inventory based on the quantity and unit price you've entered. So, if you have 30 microwaves, and each is priced at $350, Monday.com will do the math for you and provide the total value of your stock. This eliminates the need to manually crunch numbers, saving you a lot of time. The real benefit of this feature is how much it streamlines your workflow. With the calculations done for you automatically, 
You no longer have to worry about manually keeping track of inventory values or performing calculations when updating your stock. You get an instant overview of your inventory's worth at any given moment. Whether you're assessing stock for accounting purposes or preparing for restocking, Monday.com makes it all effortless. This feature is a game changer for anyone who needs accurate, real-time insights into their inventory, ensuring you never miss a beat in your stock management process. Once your stock is set up, you can also track the status of your orders. If you haven't placed an order yet for more items, you can mark it as not ordered. But once you've made the order, you can update it. This helps you stay on top of what's been ordered and what still needs attention. It's a simple way to keep everything in check. And if you're managing a team, you can add an email address for whoever is responsible for ordering. This keeps everyone in the loop so there's no confusion about who needs to do what. It's all about communication, right? But it doesn't stop there. You can take your setup to the next level by integrating other boards. For example, if you're managing inventory, you're likely going to have additional tasks that need to be tracked, such as reordering stock, managing deliveries, or coordinating with suppliers. To streamline this, you can create a task board that connects directly to your inventory board. This creates a seamless workflow so you can stay on top of everything in one place. In the task board, you can add tasks like order new refrigerators or schedule shipment for laptops. You can assign specific team members to handle each task, ensuring everyone knows their responsibility. Plus, you can set priorities, like high, medium, or low, to make sure the most urgent tasks are taken care of first. Deadlines are another useful feature. Setting due dates ensures tasks are completed on time and keeps things moving smoothly. This integration between boards helps avoid duplication of effort and ensures that no crucial steps are overlooked. For example, when stock levels hit their reorder threshold, a task can automatically be created to order more units. This way, you won't have to manually track the process as everything happens automatically. With this connected setup, you can track both the physical products and the tasks related to your inventory, giving you complete visibility of your operations. This integration ensures you're always one step ahead, keeping everything organized and improving team efficiency. It's a great way to make sure that your inventory and tasks are aligned, reducing errors and increasing productivity. What's really amazing is that you can also link your inventory management board with your task board. You can add that task to your task board, and the system will automatically update your inventory with the correct stock numbers once the order is placed. This means you don't have to manually adjust your inventory each time you make an order. Everything updates automatically and seamlessly. This connection between boards makes managing your inventory and tasks so much more efficient. Instead of flipping between multiple systems or tracking updates in different places, everything is integrated into one platform. By linking your task board with your inventory management, you can track the entire workflow, from placing orders to receiving stock, without missing a step. What's even better is that any changes made in one board are automatically reflected in the other. This eliminates the chance of errors or discrepancies and ensures your information stays accurate and up to date. So, whether you're managing product quantities, processing orders, or monitoring tasks related to shipments, you'll always have a clear view of everything, all from a single platform. This is a huge time saver. And the best part is that it all happens in the background, so you don't have to worry about updating your records manually. Everything just works together to keep your operations running smoothly. The best part is that Monday.com is incredibly flexible. If you need to track additional details, such as shipping dates, payment status, or special customer requests, 
you can easily add new columns to your boards. For example, if you want to track the supplier for each product or note specific shipping instructions for an order, you can create customized columns for those details. You can even add color-coded labels to indicate priority levels, which helps you quickly visualize which items need attention. It's all about making the system work exactly how you need it. Monday.com gives you the power to adapt it to your unique workflow without being stuck with a one-size-fits-all solution. Whether you're tracking project deadlines, managing product shipments, or organizing team assignments, you can structure your boards to match your business needs. This level of customization is great for teams of all sizes because it allows everyone to stay on the same page while keeping the focus on what matters most. Now, if you're running a large factory or a business that needs a much more complex inventory system, Monday.com might not be enough on its own. For huge operations, you might need to look into additional tools or systems that offer more advanced features. But for a smaller operation or medium-sized business, Monday.com does a great job of keeping things organized and easy to manage.